Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host, Ashley, and today is another lingo lesson. And this is kind of a two for one because we're gonna be talking about two different kinds of swing. Uh, they're actually different variations of the same thing. So today's lingo lesson is on the checked swing and the excuse me swing. Shout out to my Bless You Boys podcast co-host, Brandon, for this one. He really wanted me to do an episode on the excuse me swing. So here we are. So in order to understand what the excuse me swing is, the first thing you have to understand is the check swing. Well, basically, when a batter starts to swing at a pitch, they may reconsider that swing part of the way through when they realize that perhaps that pitch isn't what they initially thought upon release, or they realize that they may not be able to properly swing at it and make contact. So partway through that swing, they may check or stop their swing. And if they stop it before a certain point, then it won't actually count as a strike. The agreement's not part of the deal. That's too far. I f Often, because the force that batters use to swing is so much, they can't actually stop that swing before it goes most of the way through. So a good rule of thumb is that the front of home plate, as long as they stop their swing before that, is usually considered a check swing and won't be called a strike. So if the home plate umpire or even the catcher isn't quite sure if that batter went all the way through, they can appeal to the first or third base umpire, usually by pointing down the line, and that umpire will give their opinion on whether or not the swing went through, which is kind of another reason to call it a check because they check with another umpire. So if the bat went past the front of home plate, then it's generally considered a swinging strike and it will count towards their strike total. If they stop before the front of home plate, then it will count only as the umpire called the position of the ball. So it may still end up being a strike, but not a swinging one. Now an excuse me swing is what happens if a batter tries to check their swing, but accidentally makes contact with the ball anyway. And when this happens, it usually results in a foul ball or something going off in random directions, but sometimes it can actually result in a hit, in which case it would be called an excuse me single. Casper takes off again. We'll check swing oh. roller into right field. How about that? Excuse me, base hit for Chris Sionetta, second. And that is pretty much all you need to know about checked swings and excuse me swings. So this has been another quick lingo lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Remember to hit subscribe down below and ring that bell if you wanna be notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when new episodes go live. Sometimes my schedule can be a little bit off if there's technical difficulties or I just miss a day. So sometimes I've had them come out on Fridays and Sundays or later in the day. So having those notifications might be helpful. And remember, you can always follow me on social media where I'm at 90 feet from home everywhere, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So give me a follow there. You can always leave comments, feedback, or any kind of episode ideas you have for me. I've been getting really great ones in the comments below. So always leave one down there. I read them all. And with that, I hope you guys have an awesome day. We'll see you back next time. Bye!